those are not athletes. Cheryl Bernard's final stone. Angle it back in a bowl. Put him out. She does. Watch out. We're going to kick some ass. <laughs> Run it back. She got it. She does. She is an awesome curler, and she is ready for next question. You want to take a pass, Cheryl Bernard? You just say next question. Okay. Seven okay. Days. How often do you work out? Seven days a week. For how many hours a day? One hour. An hour a day, yeah. seven days a week. It's excessive. Now, do you have to work out more because Dairy Queen is one of your sponsors? <laughs> yeah, I love blizzards, so actually, it's really? a problem. Did you, would you have said you love bl blizzards a year ago? It's my one treat that I do go for. Could you bench press Randy Furby? Nope. <laughs> he, nope. Would, he would like the little hesitation there. No, no I couldn't. Uh, what month is next month? Uh, next month is February. And why should I be looking forward to February? It's Valentine's Day. Why uh, else should I be looking forward to February? Because it's a Canadian Curling Championships. Because the 2011 Girls of Curling calendar has you as oh, February, February, right? February. Forgot about that. Didn't you say you would never do that? I did, but only when it was kind of more risque. I'm in a workout outfit. It's what everybody sees me in, so it's no big deal. Okay, so they had to tone it down for you they to do did, that. They did, yeah. Right. The last two ends of the gold medal match, do you ever replay that? I did for two months after. Nightmares? Yes. Like? Yeah. But you know what? Now I'm good. It's it's gone. It's a game, and it's I've moved on. The Skins game this weekend is a casino rama. Do you gamble? Uh, yes. Whoa, that sounded... Uh, <laughs> yes. What do you do? Uh, blackjack a lot. Really? My husband and I You know the basic Vegas. strategy up by heart? Yeah, well, yeah, basics. Yeah, I love blackjack. Yeah. You started curling when you were eight years old. How could you even pick up the rock at that age? I didn't. I just put both feet in the hack and shoved as hard as I could. And when did you think to yourself, I can be pretty good at this? Uh, I don't know that you ever do. How would you fix the Calgary Flames? I would bring in some young talent and start to rebuild. What you'd expect from a cougar. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do that to me soon. <laughs> uh, what's the oddest endorsement deal you've ever been offered? Uh, pass. Uh, next question. Next Follow question, the rules here. Pass. Most curlers have full-time jobs. Which curler has the most interesting job that you've heard? Uh, next question. It, We're not that interesting. You co-wrote a book on the mental aspects of curling, right? Correct? Yes. Yeah. Between the sheets? Yes. Creating curling champions? I've never curled. Give me something that I should know about curling mentally. Mentally, I think a lot of it is trying to keep relaxed out in the ice, breathing. Is the title of the book a double entendre? It is. It <laughs> is. Now, you, you, you're more than willing to play up the fun and the, and the sex appeal of, of your ring, right? Well, yeah, I mean the fun. I think the fun. They're, they're, we're all, you know, great people. Urban Dictionary, look it up, defines curlger. As an older woman curler who, upon hours of fastidious viewing, becomes hotter and hotter with each round. Did you know that? No, I thought it was women that went after younger men. Did you know that Bill Simmons called you a curlger? No. You didn't know that? No. Bill Simmons is, has this huge following, ESPN.com. <laughs> he called you a curlger, the ultimate compliment. Yeah, strange. Okay. <laughs> you, you're checking that when we leave. Yeah, right? I am. <laughs> I'm checking.